Hey everyone, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. Today we're going to be discussing trauma kits on a budget. If you like what you see, consider uh, subscribing, giving me a thumbs up. Um, trauma kits are something I find to be very important. I, I honestly believe that everybody should just carry one daily, period. Um, you never know when something's going to happen that you need to stop the bleeding, um, straighten out something and keep it straight like an arm or a leg that might have been fractured. Um, you know, somebody getting shot and you needing to seal up a hole. You know, trauma kits are very important and uh, you should just always have one. And that's how I feel. Um, a lot of these trauma kits are really expensive. For example, the ones that people tend to always be showing are these MyMedic, uh, usually the um, Mini Pro. That runs about $200. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. So uh, I did a little research, did a little searching, and I'm going to bring you a really good trauma kit at quite a substantial savings. So <clears throat> this is part of my everyday carry. Some people call it their get home bag. Um, it attaches by Molly. It has the rip away aspect. The quality of the bag is actually pretty decent as you see where it needs it like uh, in the zippers double stitching the canvas is pretty well um, I, I don't know exactly what it is on you know the canvas but it's a good canvas uh, it has the uh, molly webbing up front and this stuff's actually pretty good pretty sturdy uh, place for patches um, It's, uh, oh, um, I put it on the outside, but the kit does come with your, your, uh, uh tourniquet here, a little, it's on the outside. You, you can rip it out real easy, but it's kind of tough if you're not just ripping it. So I'm going to leave it in there, but it does come with cat tourniquet. <laughs> And if you guys give me one second, I'm going to give you a little better view and lay this out and uh, allow you to see what's inside of it. So, uh, it's got a nice little carrying handle on the back. Double zipper. That opens up to a clamshell and folds out. We'll start with this little section over here. It's not really a whole lot. It's just uh, basically your band-aids and a little bit of uh, alcohol sterilizing pads. Oh, no, I added that one. So it's a little piece of gauze, emergency contact card, and then in here is just a um, assortment of band-aids and and uh, a bag for medical waste and things like that so uh, and then that part actually rips away so you can uh, give it out to somebody real quick when you have it loaded up with band-aids and stuff I uh, need to put some more in myself and then this center section here, you get actually a, a pretty decent pair of your uh, trauma scissors for, you know, cutting off clothes, stuff like that. And uh, that comes in the kit. And then it comes right here. This big old thing here is a Israeli bandage. Um, oops. Oh, backwards no matter what, huh? Um, 
these things come in handy for stopping bleeding fast if you get a nice uh, gash not necessarily a deep one but one that's hard to stop bleeding you, you put it on wrap yourself up it's got a big old piece of uh, gauze in it with basically an ace bandage attached to it already with a tightening system they're really cool um, you get compression gauze this is for packing wounds um, like uh, if somebody gets a, a stab wound and you need to stop the bleeding you need to learn how to pack that wound real good and this is what you would use you get some medical tape medical tape always comes in handy multi-uses um, it comes uh, with an ace bandage for uh, you know sprained ankles things like that sprained wrist you get a set of surgical gloves keep your hands clean if you need to in case of emergency somebody that's bleeding out and you don't know them what they have tucked underneath you have um, a triangle a triangle bandage um, for putting your arm in a splint or you know tying a splint to your leg or something like that if you need to that pretty much covers the the center section and then uh, over here you do get the nasal um, airway passage thing. This is, uh, you know, I believe a, a large. Um, don't quote me on that. I haven't read it in a while. I got to keep up on those things. Does come with some lubricant to make it go down easy. Um, let's spread this out a little better so you guys can see it. You get your Mylar blanket in case they're in um, hypothermia or some sort of trauma. Warming them up helps, especially with the hypothermia. Um, you get a big gauze bandage. Now remember, these are all sterile bandages. That's why they're all individually packed. So they're ready to go right on a bad wound. You do get a set of chest seals. These are not vented chest seals. These are just your regular chest seals. Um, and then it comes with one of these splints. If you guys have never seen these, they're, they're really cool. Um, they're uh, made out of some sort of metal wrapped in foam. And you're able to form the splint to whatever you need whether it be an arm wrist uh, knee ankle um, there's some sort of way to conform it and then wrap it with the ace bandage so you can get them to the nearest hospital without doing too much damage to whatever might be fractured or broken uh, last thing it comes with is this little uh, marker here? It's it's permanent marker, um, and that's for your. Uh, let me just go ahead and pull it out anyway. Stop being lazy. For your cat tourniquet to mark the time, because when it comes to uh, tourniquets, you don't want to have them on. I, I believe it's more than three hours. Don't quote me on that. I am not a medic double check anything I say um, so these are the things that come basically in the my medic pro there are a uh, or my medic mini pro a um, couple of slight differences is they come with the vented chest seal um, they have a couple more rolls of gauze uh, and really that's about it um, they don't come with cat tourniquet they come with one of those band tourniquets I don't particularly care for those or recommend them 
they're harder to use and you can cause damage to the tissue of the patient um, easier than you can with one of these. Um, so, like I said earlier, the MyMedic Mini Pro goes for about $200, give or take, depending on the day and where you get it. This one goes for 110. So when you think about it, it's basically the same kit. You're saving $90, give or take a little bit. Even if the My Medic is a little bit better, what you can do with $90 to this kit, you could get a second Israeli bandage. You could get a set of the um, vented chest seal, so you have both, depending on the situation and what calls for it. So that's two things that you could add. You could add a second tourniquet, which it's always good to have a second tourniquet. Sometimes, um, especially if it's um, you know a, an artery that you hit, one tourniquet isn't going to be enough. You might need two. Um, you know, you could add some more gloves, some more gauze, and, you know, a few other things, and be hitting that $200 mark, and now have a kit, uh, a trauma kit, not a boo-boo kit, but a trauma kit, that is definitely better than <clears throat> your MyMedic, without a doubt, and these are, you know, decent brands, these aren't, you know off the wall brands these are you know not the best but they're not the worst either um there are a, you know a couple of brands out there that are better but there's a lot of brands out there that are worse so you know i will share the link of where i got this below in the description um so you all can Hopefully get this for yourself and start your trauma kit and ramp it up and make it better um, more than I have. I, I haven't added that much. Uh, so I hope this was helpful and I hope the savings comes in a time when you need it. And I hope that this video went as well as it could at least good enough to get you guys to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing so this is the penny pitching prepper please have a wonderful day and god bless